Yeah, so the, my best my best stab at that is in the intro video, like, hey, take my course uh, that I made. I encourage people to try and find a friend to take it with so that they are doing pair programming. And so I'm going to add videos and reminders throughout to say, like, find a friend, et cetera, so that, so that the, the MOOC experience isn't reinforcing the idea that programming is a solitary task. I mean, part of why I use, like, these puppets, you know, is this was my childhood toy. And I think any opportunity I have in my classroom to communicate to students that computer scientists are people, I jump on. So like any, any, of, any algorithm that we learn that is associated with a computer scientist's name, I find some plausibly true facts about them about, on the internet about their hobbies. Do they like white wine or mountain biking or, I mean, I have a low threshold for what I might repeat about their hobbies in class, but I think it's really important to like communicate that these are people, you know. Yeah. Uh, and so these, you know, a lot of my props just are like, you know, this uh, this little guy is um, a stuffed animal I got while I worked at Leapfrog making educational games. And so if I need to bring this uh, little guy to class, I'll tell a story about my experience working at Leapfrog. I think that my students just think that I, like, get distracted and tell them random stories. <laughs> but um, I try and remind them that, like, oh, computer scientists are people, like, you know, and I, like, want to make my humanness and my quirkiness uh, present in the classroom so that, that you, you can't just get lost behind that, like, oh, she's just a talking head, who's a computer scientist who knows everything, etc.